Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new unboxing and um, product review of a new game uh, launched by Games Workshop. Well, it wasn't launched some months ago, but I just acquired uh, for 50 euros. This is uh, an, another a small board game from Games Workshop called Lost Patrol uh, Death in the Jungle. This one I had the occasion to read before doing this unboxing, so you will see that the box is open. Some of the parts are really separated from the frame, but I want to show you what you have inside first. So this is the rule book. Okay, you will see that it's quite uh, it's how many pages? I think it's just yeah, it's the same as as I just think, or four pages more or less, something like that. Very very easy rules. In that case, we don't have fluff. We just have well um, the rules and some nice uh, paint jobs, okay? Uh, and I will say, first of all, talking about the rules, these are very streamlined rules, very easy for any person that wants to start on board games, I think this is quite a very easy, straightforward rules, you only move, shoot, on assault, and it is only very, very, very simple rules. They make an expansion again on White Dwarf, so in White Dwarf they make the expansion to in use Terminator instead of Scouts, but I will say that it's really interesting, it's a, a one uh, versus one game, so it's for two players, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing the first game as well, because it's really easy, and if you want to introduce someone on these miniatures board games, uh, this is one of the games that uh, can be very interesting, because the rules are really easy to learn, uh, and looks like to be a fast game to play. So what we have inside, you see that the box is not as nice as the one that is served from um, the Gold Chosen. Uh, inside we have the tails, okay, these are the jungle tails. Okay, and the board is constructed, uh, the board are formed by these tails and the board is being built at the same time that you play. The objective of the scouts is to find, let me see if I can find the tail is to find the, the, the drop pot, I would say, and they need to escape from the jungle that is infested of gen stealers. So they need to arrive to this tail, okay? And the gen stealers, uh, yeah, there is a rules where one player is playing gen stealer and is put in the jungle. There are some rules how he can put the jungles, so he has to make the escorts don't arrive to this tail. And on the other side, this is the starting tail. Okay, and on the other side, uh, the 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 scouts needs to arrive to the to this thing. Okay, we have the bases as usual. Dice, you see only three dice. You don't need more dice in that game. It's really a simple one. And then we have four spruce of gen stealers, four gen stealers in each, and these infestions. Uh, Although they look blue, it's the same quality, uh, exactly the same quality that we, we are used to uh, to against worship miniatures. And we have one sprue of scouts that, yeah, of course, later on you can use them in, in 40k. Let me show you a little bit more in detail this spruce, but you will see that it's the same detail that we are used from Games Workshop. Let me zoom in. Okay, so you see here, let's make a look first to the faces, the faces are here, maybe in this red sprue it's not that easy to see, but yeah, it's the same detail, not, uh, it's, I, I guess, it's, I did not buy the, the, the scouts in 40k, but I guess it's the same um, sprue that we used to have in the scouts box. Uh, we can build them with the shotguns, with bolters. So we have here the bolters, we have the shotguns as well. Uh, here another shotgun, another shotgun. We have one heavy bolter, and then we have um, we can put them if we want with ball pistol and uh, and the shot. So here we have. Okay, let me zoom out so you can see the sprue. All it is. So as, you, as I said, uh, we have all the different uh, blades. We can make one sergeant from here, we can make one heavy weapon and here, uh, yeah, we have a, a lot of stuff to to put uh, next to the scout. So really nice. 
Then we have three times the same as pro of gene stealers. Okay. So we have here the bodies of the gene stealers. Again, the detail is the, the normal detail of Green's workshop, not losing detail. And then we have this infestation that these are tokens that are used in the game. So, and the game is meant to play with just 12 gene stealers, and yeah, the rules are based on that. So, really, you don't need anything else. We have here all the different heads for the gene stealers. So, you can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine completely different. I guess if you combine this with other parts, you can make really uh, uh, all the gene stealers different if you want. So, this is what we have here. Uh, only 50, I would say for 50 euros is not a bad deal. And if you want to introduce someone into war games, board games with miniatures, I think this is a great way to start. Uh, the rules are really easy, the mechanics are really easy, and uh, just looking forward to playing my first game uh, because this is really easy rules, easy to go. So that's all what I want to share. Again, I put here the cover Lost Pathball from Games Workshop. Okay. It's a game where the scouts are lost in the jungle and the gene stealers want to eat them. Of course, I, mean, I did not share, but we have the rules to assemble the scouts and we have the rules to assemble the gene stealers. There is not much, these are quite simple rules to assemble the gene stealers. So that's all for this unboxing. Please leave your comment below, let me know what do you think. Uh, if you like this type of board games, I really, uh, it looks quite a very fun game. Uh, and maybe I will do a report as well on that. If I play a game soon, I will make a report and you will see how the game, how the mechanics are played on this game. Uh, that's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!